What's up, nerds? Scott Solo from the Sarlacc Digest Podcast with a toy review. Today, I am going to review the CFCB Unlimited Bantha figure. Check it out. All right, my friends, check this out. This is a three and three quarter inch scaled vintage style Bantha figure handmade and hand painted by CFCB Unlimited. Check that out. How cool is this, right? It, it does have some articulation in the legs right here. So you can move all four legs independently of one another. I love the little added detail of a foot peg hole, you know, because it's Star Wars. Of course you need that. Even though it is massive, stands on its own just fine, doesn't need them, I love that little attention to detail. It's very, very cool. Uh, paint apps. It's, as I said, all hand-painted. How very neat is that? These went up on pre-order quite some time ago, and it's it's like a custom art piece. I wouldn't say it's a toy, necessarily. It literally is a custom art piece where it's hand-built, hand-made, hand-painted, and absolutely fantastic. Now, I reached out to the owner of CFCB, and they said that they only made 16 of these to start with. And I happened to get lucky number one. Check that out. Each one's hand-numbered like so. Pretty cool. Fun part, the, my favorite part of it, actually, is the trap door. It's got a spring-loaded trap door just like your vintage Dubak, your vintage Tauntaun, etc. So I'm going to take one of my extra... Tuscan Raiders right here, and I'm going to pop them in that, like so, and bam, you have a Tuscan Raider riding a Bantha. That is rad. Okay, now, since I pre-ordered this thing, I went ahead and I picked up the big package. They had levels where you could buy just this, or you could get some uh, actual handmade figures to go along with it as well. So, check this out. It is a vintage-style female Tuscan warrior. Uh, it's also got the uh, their logo on it. comes with this nice little card back right here. Their logo on there as well. And then I haven't opened this, so I'm doing this right here, right now, live for all of you. I guess it's not live. I am pre-recording it. Oh, and stay tuned after this. I'm going to do a one-minute toy review with all of this as well. So uh, I'll have a one-minute toy review that leads into this longer toy review. It's fun to do that. Check that out. So, <clears throat> again, handmade, hand painted, custom, three and three quarter inch, five point of articulation, Tuscan Raider Warrior female. You have to probably heat that arm up right there. It's not not moving. Uh, oh, there we go. There's a little bit of articulation there. Okay. So she's moving. She's just got. Oh no, nope, leg popped off. Up, oh, arm popped off. Oh shit. <laughs> Maybe I'm not supposed to move those very much. Uh, put that back on. Okay. So, little mini figures. Not necessarily articulated. I needed to probably read that before I did this. But hey, we're in it now. We're in it to win it. So, maybe you pop off her arm and you can move it to a different location. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Just like that. That's pretty cool. Comes with her gaffy stick right there. I'm going to set her down. But wait, there's more. And now I know how to play with them. Check that out. Boba Fett. Let's remove him from the package again. It's got their logo and everything on the back right there. Logo on the front. The figure limbs are designed to be snug. The joints may have become a little snugger since assembly, so in moving the limbs... For the first time, take it slow and gentle. If there's a lot of resistance, the, low, the limbs will remove freely once adjusted for the first time. Or they just pop off and you can move them around. Let's try that with uh, Boba Fett here. Doo -doo -doo. Probably should have read that ahead of time. Not knocking the company at all. I just need to... I'm a typical guy sometimes and I like to uh, just kind of jump in head first. All right, so here we go. Boba Fett. Look at that. That looks really cool. Great. Great paint apps and great sculpting on that. Very nice. Uh, yep, yeah, he moves a little bit. Not going to push this one. It's Boba. Don't want to break him. But yeah, legs move very, ever so slightly. 
that one's not moving so much so i'm gonna let that be right there that is okay though i don't really pose out my figures very much comes with this gaffy stick handmade ja gaffy stick that is cool look at that that's a that's a point right there and he also comes with the rifle right there the tuscan rifle let's put him down there he's gonna get trained by her real quick while i show you the tuscan rifle that is really cool really good attention to detail on that it looks like it was made by a tuscan raider village that is really cool and then this one i'm not gonna mess with too much but it is a uh remake of the classic tuscan raider right here not to be confused with an actual vintage one but there you go just the tuscan raider with the vinyl cape he's got he moves uh, yeah not gonna push it yeah i'm just gonna set him down right over here not gonna mess with him too much because i've got like half a dozen Tuscan Raiders. But overall, I couldn't be happier with this. Even with the little kerfuffle I made with the with the uh, warrior here, the warrior princess. And yeah, that that is my bad. That's not on them. I should have read the directions before opening it up. But check that thing out. I cannot wait to put that on my vintage figure display. Because it's not like we're going to get a vintage uh, style Bantha from Hasbro. And if we do, I'll still buy it. Because, you know, I will do that. I buy everything. So there we go. This would normally be the part where I would uh, put on the Boba Fett theme song, but I don't want to get struck down for copyrights. But what a cool custom figure project. Very cool. I cannot, I, I couldn't be happier with this. Other than, you know, my problem where I decided to play, you know, fast and loose with the rules here on the on the arms. But as you can see, she went right back together, and she's easily posable that way. So uh, Boba Fett, very cool. They all work with my, uh, with my Tashi Station stands, so that's cool. Because um, he is a little top-heavy, so he kind of falls over a little bit. So he definitely, especially with his arms out. If his arms were by his side, then he'd be fine. But um, So yeah, they are compatible with the 6-inch scale Tashi Station stands, which is great. Uh, I'm going to keep my extra Tuscan Raider up there inside the Bantha like that. And yeah, it's going to go on my display. Want to see how it looks on my display? Check it out. Before the death of the Lars family, we had an encounter with Tuscan Raiders. But that was after the purchase of the droids. So, you know, purchase of the droids. Encounter with the Tuscan Raiders. Death of the family. How cool is that, though, huh? Fits right in with the vintage stuff. That's great. There is the uh, custom Tuscan Raider. It's very obviously not to be confused with the standard Tuscan Raider right there. Very obvious. So that's nice. They're not trying to pull a fast one on you, folks. They are legit making art pieces, which is really cool. So CFCB Unlimited. Dot com. They do mask toys. They do Star Wars stuff. It's all art, and it's all art great so check them out thanks a lot everybody tune in next time for another toy review and keep it nerdy